girls, welcome to another video, our Monday video for our circle time. We just watched that one. Now we're going to read a story. So Miss Nina is going to read a story for you and we are going to together watch the story in the corner and read the story. So you're going to hear me reading the story while we watch it, okay? So this story is about a particular starfish called Starry-Eyed Stan. So let's see what happens. Stan wants to become a musician. So let's see what happens in the story, okay? Are you ready? All right, so let's see. What does Stan have in store for us? <gasps> Look at those beautiful fish. There's some yellow ones, some blue ones, some purple ones, and some snails too, and some seaweed, and some red ones too. They're beautiful. All right, let's see. Starry-eyed Stan. Have you ever heard a starfish sing? I'm not sure if they can. Apart from one young, boastful chap, a star whose name was Stan. One day he got up on the stage with fans all gathered round, and as he sang, they cheered and swooed. Oh, what a gorgeous sound. Look, that one is a security guard, and that one says Stan. Stan fan. <laughs> Lots of lots of fish and some octopus and some eels and some starfish come to listen to Stan. Let's see what happens. But the smell of all the creatures who assembled in one spot atta attracted quite a nasty crab whose name was Lancelot. Mmm, he said, what have we here? A feast of fish galore. I'll eat my fill and then come back to munch on even more. Oh no, Lancelot wants to eat the fish. <gasps> Let's see what happens. Now when the fish saw Lancelot, they all began to flee. And look, and Lancelot goes click, click, click. But starfish find that tricky, so they tend to freeze, you see. Young Stan still hadn't noticed that his audience was gone. He was caught up in the moment continued singing on. <gasps> but look at the starfish that came to listen to Stan. They all froze. What's going to happen to them? <coughs> then Lancelot approached him with a hunger looking, gr hungry looking grin, but stopped and started shouting. <gasps> oh, good gracious. Th what's that din? The tune was just too lovely for a grouchy crab to bear. Ah, said Lancelot running away. You did it, all the starfish cried. You saved us with your flair. Please teach us all to sing as well. We need a new defense. But Stan just laughed. You'll never learn. My talent's too immense. Uh-oh, that's not very nice. The next day Stan was singing to an audience of eels when his show was interrupted by some not came a noise, a click and then a clack, and everybody knew that Grumpy Lancelot was back. Oh no! Stan stood strong and faced him as he sang with all his might, but Lancelot looked different and seemed far less full of fright. <gasps> What's that that Lancelot has on his ears? <gasps> Some earmuffs! Just as Stan had lost all hope, he heard a little yelp. It was Jay, the tiny starfish, who just knew she had to help. There's friends. Jay could hear her voice was wobbling as she struggled with the song, and she knew for it to work, she'd need more friends to sing along. So she hunted high and low, behind the rocks and in the cave, and she begged the other starfish to join in and to be brave. Then one by one, each starfish stood until they formed a crowd and, they, and the song began to grow as each one bellowed loud and proud. Vibrations moved the water and soon rocked the ocean bed and the sound waves blew the ear def defenders off the big crab's head. Oh no! <gasps> eee! said Lancelot. The crab just couldn't stand the noise and so he ran away. Then the singing turned to cheers, 
of yes we did it oh hooray as the crab goes girl i can't stand the noise no not again <laughs> stan stood humbly on the stage to thank his tiny friends and all the other starfish who had helped him in the end he promised to make up for all the selfishness he's shown as he knew that he could not defeat old Lancelot alone. He could not do that alone. He told them all to meet him in the morning by the stage and to bring along their friends of any species, size, and age. For Stan had formed a plan to keep the nasty crab away. With some music and some teamwork and the best friends in the bay, Stan's singing school! Wow! He formed a school for everybody. Now it says it goes on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, or Thursday, and on Friday. It starts at 9 in the morning and it says choir rehearsals. They're all singing along. Now I think <laughs> the end. <laughs> I think that was quite a nice so a story to read. Now see? Stan didn't want to teach his friends to sing, and that almost got him eaten by a nasty crab. So you need to be nice to your friends so you all can help each other out when you're in a pickle, right? So if Stan was nice to his friend his friends, he would have they would have helped him out, right? And they did because they were nice friends to have. So Stan did something really nice for them in return. They he made a singing school so this was our story for today now um i'll see you in the next video where we do some art okay now enjoy your story you can watch it over and over again um and remember you need to be nice so everybody else can be nice to you too all right see you in the next video boys and girls